Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition with me, Frank Aton. Alright, so we have some more stuff to do here in our pocket plane. If you wish. Like talk to Sespinar. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello yourself. I am the little butler for the great bow. Oh, yes! Or I was. It has been very lonely for me. No more master to serve for a very long time. Until now, that is. Uh, you're a... a butler? What is it exactly that you do? Oh, I does clean things. I goes and I collect the little things that finds their ways to the abyss. And when my master requests, I uses the recipes to making the shiny ones. Oh, yes! The shiny ones? Yes, oh, yes! Call on me, you may! Use my recipes for you will! I, I make the shiny ones! Have not done this for some time, though. No new master have I. Sespinar gladly serve the great one. Sespinar make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. Uh, do you have a list of your recipes? It might make this easier. Uh, sadly, no. All recipes is up here in Sespinar's head. So many I can never keep all of them straight. It's job security, maybe. <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. Just see if I have anything that you can use. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me be. Ooh! Is nice sword, maybe? Alright, so I have a lot of items to go through here. It's gonna be a lot of dialogue, a lot of weapon descriptions. Um, just, we're gonna be here for a minute. As recipe for sort of mask, I do. Getting heart of the, the heart of the damned. Sorry, I thought I said diamond. Uh, though. Oh, yes. No idea where to find one, though. I keep looking. You have lots of stuff you do. Pack right, you is. You going to hell. <laughs> huh? Sword that burns? Hmm. Have cream for that. <laughs> yes, Flaming Sword of Angervadal. Uh, needs liquid mercury and maybe, oh, 10,000 gold. If he gets all that, I has really good recipe. I keep looking. You should maybe clean pack more often. <laughs> you has holy sword, does you? Hell is in place for you, maybe, eh? I can make purifier holy sword better. Oh yes. You need to find pommel jewel. I have tear. Then I makes better. In the I have tear, you have to make a choice: either you upgrade the purifier or Karsamir. Uh, Karsamir to plus six or purifier to plus four. There's an argument to be made for both of them, but uh, well, we're gonna be going with Karsamir. I keep looking through undies, then. Ooh. Holy Avenger sword, huh? Nice. Well, thank you. There's a pommel jewel called Eye of Tear. He finds it, and I can use recipe on Holy Avenger. Oh, yes. But he no has it right now, so oh well. Okay. I keep looking through stuff. Hmm. Ball had one of these. Used to pick key plots. No manners he. Oh, you has Dagger of the Star and five star sapphires. Ooh, with 5,000 gold, I could make it better. You want this? Ah, uh, sure. Let's see what it does. Okay. Stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Alright, so I don't know if it changes the description. I'm assuming it does. Of the items. Enjoy! Now Saspinar goes back to his duties! Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find! Lots to collect! Alright, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so Dagger of the Star plus 5. Uh, with all the star sapphires encrusting its hilt, the small blade is one of the most dangerous weapons in the realms. A 15% chance of making the user go invisible for one turn after each successful attack. And Starbolt, each successful hit has a 5% chance of causing an extra 1 to 5 fire and 1 to 8 electrical damage. Very good if you have a dagger wielding party member. Sespinar gladly serves a great one. Uh, we've read that. Needs must I read that. Press with mask. Purifier. Carsmere. Okay. I can. Ooh. What's that? 
sharp. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Ooh. He has both Exo Spike and Exo Snail. They meant to go together. Five thousand gold, and I do. You want? Uh, sure, do it. Okay. Stand back. I read that before as well. Never use I'll try to expedite this as much as I can. But it's still gonna be a lengthy process. Enjoy. Read that. All right, Exo Spike plus six. Still talking, isn't he? Okay. With Shaft and Tip reunited, Exo Spike is a fearsome weapon. During the battle, the head can attach to pin opponents to the ground, even as a new head magically reforms on the end of the spear. So free action as an equipped ability, combat abilities, hit target is pinned for three rounds and takes an additional one to six plus five piercing damage each round. Saversus paralysis negates. A very good spear. Um, I think here is the one that can really use a spear. Does he have points in spear? Or is it? Oh, he has points in two-handed. Two-handed weapon style. That's why. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so not going to use it. Suspinar gladly serve the great one. Suspinar make. Ooh. All right, sword of mask. Sword that burns. Uh, flaming sword of anger of it all. Keep looking. You have holy. Purifier. Car smear. If you find finds Baylor's claw, Meekin makes Axe of the Unyielding. Good recipe. Well, good if you has claw. I keep looking, but me getting pretty hungry now. It's good stuff. Very firm. Very strong. Makes her a good swack in the head. Kapow! You has Warnock's horn, maybe. No? If he gets it, as recipe for Staff of the Ram. And that's another one you have to make a decision for, I think, that the horn is actually good by itself as well. Uh, but you have no intention of using the Staff of the Ram, there's no reason to upgrade that weapon. You demanding, you is. Remind me of Bala on mornings after big drinking binge, maybe. Like how it says maybe after each one. Like, they don't want to make anything too canon about Ball, I guess. <laughs> Ooh! Kermish forging is such nice work! Marvelous! Just marvelous! <laughs> A U.S. Scimitar, Spectral Brand. Me has old, old recipe. If you find Skull of the Lich, um, make me, me makes it so much better. Oh yes. I keep on looking like a wild ranger. <laughs> so his lines are just ridiculous. Sorry. Right. Hindo's doom. Can you say it? Hindo's doom. Anyway, if you find Hindo's hand, I can make katana. I can make katana better. You really have to wonder what happened to Hindo, hey? I'm just a slave, working, slaving away. Ooh, nice boots. What's this? Oh, one hot club. Pow, straight to the moon. I love the club. It goes boom, it does. Make bigger boo maybe. If I adds ring of fire resistance and five thousand gold, he wants me to do that. I do not want to do that. I'm not going to use the uh, club of detonation. What else? What else? What else? Uh, because again, it can hurt your allies. It's not worth using. Though it can be very good. Again, if you're playing by yourself, if you're doing like a solo run, I think it's it is a contender uh, because it is one of the most damaging weapons in the game. Hmm. Amazed from the skies. Hit you on the head and leave lump, maybe? I, I can upgrade your Storm Star, but I need a Starfall Ore. Or at least, this is what the recipe says, okay? Well, I keep on looking. What else I got to do? Cut toenails? Wallpaper challenge rooms? Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Ouch! Ooh, wrong head. Oh, you got three heads there. I can add poison heads to it. So four heads, you know? Five thousand gold and I can do it. You once? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use I think there's what one or two more heads you can find. Enjoy. So we just Stop found poison. Oh yes! Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. Fire see fire, cold, acid, poison, and 
What else can you add? Or can you upgrade the other damages? Oh, there's only one more. Yeah, there's one more head. I don't remember what the fifth head does. This four-headed flail causes fire, cold, acid, and poison damage. The fifth head for the flail of ages can be found. It would make this awesome weapon even more powerful. Yes. It's <laughs> definitely one of the better weapons in the game. Alright. Gotta burn through all this again. Don't want to click too fast, like when you're re-rolling your character and you accidentally click past that really good roll. I know his recipes for two heads for Flail of Ages. First you add Poison Head, then you add Electricity Head. Only recipes I have, sorry. So another Electricity one? Fire Cold- oh, it's Fire Cold and Acid initially, yeah, so Electricity would be the new one. You sure you not just want to dump everything out? Easier that way! Ooh, it's very nice quiver it is! Pretty colors! Use Rogue Stone and Quiver plenty. At 10,000 gold, and I have a recipe to make better arrows. You want? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use this recipe before. Could be messy. Alright, so she should still have that. Um, where's my quiver of plenty? She has the case of plenty. Oh, he didn't give it to me yet. Yeah. The money and resources you invested. To find. Lots to collect. It's hard to talk over those guys. All right, the money and resources you invested in the quiver of plenty have resulted in an item even greater, of even greater magical properties. Unlimited plus two arrows as opposed to plus one. Nice. It is done. So honestly, I could go and sell all my plus one and plus two arrows and clean up that her inventory a little bit. Alright. Uh, quick through a few. Slow it down. You sure you not just want dump everything? What? You use a sling? What is you, a big sissy? <laughs> hmm. We'll have a recipe for a rain sling anyways. Imagine that. All you need is 5,000 gold. I can go and make a sling better. As good as slings get, anyhow. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now Saspinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes. All right, so the modifications to find, lots to collect. The modifications to the Aaron sling have made or Aaron sling have made significant improvements to its already deadly accuracy. So plus five, plus five, and creates five plus four bullets once per day. I could probably just have her make. You know what? We're gonna keep these in my paladin because these are full heals. I keep clicking through till I get to this. You got its blade slinger chain mail, I sees. Elven chain. I have recipes that make even better, I do. I use your scroll protection from normal weapons and 40,000 gold. You once? Yeah, so this is actually really good armor, but no, for not for anyone in my party. Okay. It's also extremely expensive. So I have no intention of using this one either. We'll make it back some of our money when we can sell all this stuff. 
Hi, so the... Lots to find. Lots to collect. I assume it's pronounced Asselfarun. Uh, Elven Chainmail, plus five. Well, an exile from Mithdranor. Uh, Asil Faerun learned the secret of fashioning powerful elven armor by gliding and heavily enchanting... Or sorry, gilding and heavily enchanting normal elven chain. Alas, his refusal to divulge the secret led to his murder by a rebel smith. So it still has all the, uh, the minus percentages to the thief skills. But now spellcasting is not disabled. And it has a decent armor class as well. Immunity to normal weapons, also pretty good. Um... It's, I think it's best for a bard. If I didn't have the Enhanced Edition and the Robe of Vecna, I would probably have that equipped on Imowen, but uh, the Robe of Vecna is just, it's too good. It improves casting speed by four. That's, I mean, that's it right there. The Magic Resist isn't anything to shake a stick at either. So. Alright, look ahead till we get to... That. You sure you're not just one... Ugh. What is bad smell? You've been killing dragons? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Oh, it's white dragon scales, is it? I make good scale armor. Protect you from cold, maybe. 5,000 gold only. You want? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use that recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. All right. Now, goes back to his duties. Oh, yes. Uh, not surprising. To find. Keep Lots forgetting. To he has that last little sentence. Uh, not surprisingly, this armor created from the scales of a young ice dragon provides the wearer with protection from cold and ice. Cold resist plus 50%. Cone of cold three times per day. Armor class minus two. Pretty good. Is it better than what they have on though? It is better than the red dragon scale. What does he have? Fire and acid resist. So I wonder, he gets one armor class, he gets one, but it's greater. It also looks really cool. Alright, we're going for aesthetics, does it look good on him? It doesn't really match the helmet. I mistake. I mean the red doesn't really either, he needs like black armor. I think we're going to give it to Minsk. We just won't use the Gorgon plate. Actually, what does Mazzy have? Armor of the Heart plus three. Or, yeah. Oh, she actually loses armor class? Minus one. Oh, minus two. The resistances are really good, though. It might actually be better because of the resistances. And armor class does start falling off at this point in the game. I mean, one armor class for 15% resistance to fire and acid. How often is she going to be getting hit by acid, though? Fire, I can see fireball hitting her pretty frequently. Um, and I don't know how useful cold will be. It's just cold resistance. 50. This fire was at 55. And he gave him 15 acid, which is all he had. Um, I think this is fine. Because the Cone of Cold ability is nice. So. We will rock with that. I am split about using this. Let's just keep making stuff. We'll figure it out after that. I think it caught up on right now. What else? What else? What else? Well, I keep the flail of me. You sure you're not just... Well, I have a good recipe to make cloak protection plus two better. You need scroll of invisibility and improved haste both though. So maybe later. Pretty sure I have both of those in my scroll case. We'll check that out in a second. Ice looking through stuff that ain't mine! Junk's in here. Needs junk drawer. Let's see. Nope. 
The other part isn't here. If you get, yeah, if you get both circlet of netheril and bronze ironstone, it has a great recipe. Good for mages, it is. I keep looking, but I'm running out of recipes soon. I need to find Martha soon. She wrote hell somewhere, I think. I think I see bracers of goody two shoes nets. Yep. Yep, yep, I did. You got Paladin's Bracers. You need a good blessing and they becomes better. I know this priest who does it for 10,000 gold. Wants me to get it done? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Stand so these are the Bracers we found in Watcher's Keep, of course. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now Saspinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes. Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. Now the willing sacrifice of a vast fortune in gold, combined with the holy venerations of the sanctifying ceremony, have convinced the blessed powers to transform these already formidable gauntlets into gloves of awesome righteous power. So the initial ability just gave you the 10 hit points, but now you have charge abilities, cure critical wounds once per day, and resurrection once per day. So this is just really good to have on hand. We're going to tuck it in here. So if I ever need to resurrect, I have another just free resurrection available once per day. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, I tried to take out my scrolls to see if he could. Maybe I don't have a scroll invisibility. It seems you have lots of junks in here. I keep looking, but I'm running. Oh, wait! Here's a glove. Only one? What is you, a rock star? Oh, there's the other one. That is a Michael Jackson reference for those of you who, who don't know that. I figured most of you guys do. Uh, these is Bard's Gloves. It has a recipe which makes them very good for Bards. But you need lots of gems. One diamond, sapphire, emerald, and rogue stone, in fact. You not got all that. Do I not? Diamond, sapphire... Uh, let me write this down. Diamond, Sapphire, Emerald, and Rogue Stone. I'm pretty sure I have. Maybe they split up between my uh, different, couple different bags. You must have something in here worth me looking. Maybe nice female imp. Nah. Huh? You have something here? Smells like dirt? Needs good washing, maybe. Alright, I'm also writing down the scrolls so I don't forget to do that. After this. Oh, oh, oh. I have his recipe for this, actually. Rager named Montolio, once have cloak and clasp. Finds both and eyes put together for you, okay? Good, good recipe. Don't be so pushy! I looked when I was good and ready! Okay, I was ready. Yeah! Nice helmet! Hey! Wait, I know this one! Uh, you got all pieces for the Helm of the Rock. It's a good recipe for fighter. 5,000 gold, helmet, two horns. Yep, all's is here. You want? Uh, sure, go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's improve the helmet that uh, I currently have equipped on Sarah Bach. Alright, with the addition... Tarnus Espinar. With the addition of the horns, the Helm of the Rock is even more powerful. Generals and military leaders can command both fear and respect simply by wearing this helm. So this is all the standard stuff. Uh, the resistances and you know, protects against critical hits, of course. Uh, charge abilities. R of command three times per day. Save versus spell at minus two negates. Targets flee in terror. So just adds in AoE fear. It's recommended to her. But he doesn't have a helmet. We're going to give it to him instead. And I do like the new look. It's you know a unique looking helmet compared to what we had on, and it matches the. And it changes appearance. I like the red and black, actually. Yeah, actually, I like his his default coloration. We'll keep that. What? What do you want? Might pick a different red though. Oh yeah, shoot! I forgot to pull that stuff out. We'll get around to that. 
can't. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait. You must have something in here. Huh? You have something here? Don't be so pushy. I looked when I was good and ready. Okay, I was ready. Hmm. Now you got a quiver of bolts here, right? I can upgrade it so it makes plus two bolts. Crossbows would be sucky, but not quite so sucky with better bolts. 5,000 gold, and it'd be yours. Now go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never use this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Oh, now goodness. Now Saspinar goes oh. back to his duty. Got something in my eyeball. Oh, there we yes. go. Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. All right, the money and resources you invested in the case of plenty have resulted in an item of even greater magical properties. Give that to her. All right, before I forget, let's pull out the things that we need. I need improved haste and invisibility. Does that have to be improved invisibility? I don't think so. I'm going to take it out just in case. There's improved haste. I feel like improved invisibility should work. But I don't think that's going to be the way that it works. Um, I'll just put this stuff up here real fast. To get it out of the way. Come on, invisibility. Where are you at? Mass invisibility. You know what? We'll give it a shot. I don't think it's going to work, but... While we're here. I find it hard to believe that I don't have a scroll of invisibility with all the scrolls that I have laying around, but I guess it is... It is possible. Or I've scrolled past it, which is also very possible. Um, I am ru I am running on about an hour an hour of sleep today. Uh, late, late upload as well because my power went out at about 1 a.m. in the morning, and I have severe tinnitus, so if the power goes out, I can't sleep because I don't have any background noise, like a fan or something to... And drown out the tinnitus. Alright, well I guess we'll try. Try with that. And I need to get out my gems. There's nothing in that one. Alright, diamond. Then an emerald. A rogue stone. Um, I'll just drop these on the ground real fast. A sapphire. Need a sapphire. I really don't have a sapphire. Hmm. So we'll check one more time. My nice good news is I've already written this stuff down so I can underline the ones that I need. Well, I swore I had a scroll... Oh no, sorry, I don't need that one. <laughs> Underline the wrong thing already. Scroll of invisibility, that's what I need. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Yeah, get over there. Then you can put all these back. Huh? If you wish. Alright. It's gonna be a whole episode of just crafting weapons. Well, and other items. It seems you have lots of junks in here. I keep looking. You must have something. Don't be so pushy. Nope. Nope! I see nothing more than matches with my recipes. No more shiny ones. Oh well. Back to cleaning, I guess it. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed that. As much as I did. I love getting new items, so. That was exciting. And flavor text is always fun. Ooh! 
shiny ones. All right. A fate spirit. Greetings to you, child of Baal. I'm an aspect of your fate, the thread that leads you unerringly along your destiny. In a way, I'm a part of you. An aspect of my fate. Can you tell me of the future? I only follow the strands of fate that you weave with others, child. You tug at the entire pattern of the tapestry, such as the strength of your own destiny. You also end the threads of many. Threads that touch you and get woven around you are cut short, dead, their future ended. Such is also your fate. So can you help me or not? I cannot touch your own thread, child, nor can I tell you where it leads. I can, however, alter the threads of those whose lives are intertwined closely with your own. Those whose destinies are tied to yours. Meaning what exactly? There are those who are tied to your fate and your future, whether they know of it or not. If their threads are within my reach, I can bring them to this place. You can bring people here? They are meant to be part of your future, yes. They will fall into your wake because their fates are tied to yours. Oh man. Okay. I forgot how many, just how many companions were in Baldur's Gate 2. So I know there's a lot of companions in Baldur's Gate 1. I always forget that there are this many in Baldur's Gate 2. So bring me Aerie, the Elven Cleric Mage. Oh, here we go. Is there a thread you wish me to search for, a Child of Ball? I'll bring them to this place if I can. Yeah, bring me Aerie, the Elven Cleric Mage. As you wish. Ooh. We're going to bring them all here. Since I left the circus, I wondered when I, I... That's odd. I don't remember when I left the circus. What is this place? Oh, that's not important. Uh, let's see. Oh, we traveled together before Airy. It's pretty complicated. Join with me, and I'll explain. I'm not too surprised. My life has been strange since you left. Still, the cowed wizards are angry with me now at my magic. I had to leave the circus. I guess it didn't matter. Not really. I was helping people when I could, but... But every time I helped someone, there was always more to spare. It... it was terrible. So I had to leave all my friends behind. I... I was thinking of traveling south to the mountains to search for my people, but... But this is just as well. I'll help you, Donald, if, if you want me to. Uh, wait here for now. I may need your help later. Wait... wait here? It it does seem important that I help you somehow. I'll all right. I'll stay here for a while, but not for too long. All right, bring me the next one. Bring me Cern to the shapeshifter druid. We're gonna go through all the companions. The episode's gonna go a little over. The balance has been wildly threatened. I and others of my brethren have felt it, and of course you are at the center of these events, child of Baal. Oh, excuse me, I was trying to sip my coffee. I knew when I saw you that we would meet again. If you have called me on me to join you in your quest, then I am more than willing. I'll do whatever I can to preserve the balance. And what if preserving the balance is not my goal? Whether one may strive for evil or good, one can never be certain that the balance is not ultimately being served. If the balance is threatened, you may, may, you, eh, you may restore it no matter your intentions. Or at least, this is my hope. Well, fair enough. Join with me, then. Good. It pleases me to see you again, Donald. I hope that my skills will be of some use to you. I see you have made a decision. Am I to leave your company, then, my friend? Ah, uh, yes. Just wait here for a while. As you wish. I am sure you'll proceed as you see fit. You're like a force of nature in many respects, my friend. And one that I am constantly awed to witness. Yeah, click on the thing. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I bring me Dorn, the half-orc blackguard. What is this now? I welcome Dorn Ilkhan. Why have you called me here? I have need of your talents. I'm sure that you do. Uh, what do you make? What do you offer me to make it worth my effort? Power and glory. You know what I like. Uh, very well. I am with you. 
That wasn't hard. Nope, please remove him. You would have me leave. Have you taken leave of your senses? Wait, what? I made you a friend, Dorn. There's a good argument I had no sense to lose. Uh, now return to the pocket plane, unless I need you again. You treat me like some game piece? I should rip your beating heart from your chest. Have patience, Dorn. You may yet have a role to play in the events to come. You're making a mistake. I correct it quickly, lest you feel lest you would feel my wrath. Yeah, yeah. A lot of big talk from someone I could kill in like a hit or two. It is done. Let's get my companions out of the way. So this is easier. Dorn just teleport uh whatever. Bring me Edwin, the magic user. <laughs> That's all he's called the magic user. Not Red Wizard to play or What? Spear? I hope this is important, you insufferable monkey. I was in the middle of a very important transaction. To think I had the wench bargain down to three gold for the night. Bah You don't seem very surprised. Do you even know where you are? Hmm. With you, I could find myself in the midst of some dung heap in Tiamat's personal latrine. That wouldn't bat an eyelash in surprise. So out with it, monkey breath, before I lose patience. I need you to join me. I require a good wizard. Well, of course you do. There's none better than I when it comes to the magical arts. And it's good you recognize your superiors. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Will you help or not? I will. For the bountiful treasure and magic that follows this buffoon, if nothing else. But don't annoy me further. Alright, go stand in the corner. One might assume that there is some logic behind asking such a skilled wizard as I to leave, but I shall be damned if I can figure it out. Uh, just wait here for a while. Well, certainly. There is so much to keep a great magus such as myself busy here. Look, a rock. How fascinating. As I thought. Alright, bring me a hair delice, the tiefling blade. A hair delice. Back on the plains, is it? Swept off the prime and whisked away like a soaring eagle into new adventure. <laughs> Glad I am to see you, my raven. You seem pleased to be here. And why should I not be? Time is an inconstant mistress, good friend. And all disagreements are washed away along with her into oblivion. This bard looks forward to your tale like none other. Then join with me and let's go. The tale begins to spin again. Ha ha. This is a marvelous life, Donald. Do not convince yourself otherwise. Alright, I'm going to stop telling them to join me and I'm just going to uh, have them wait in the plane. Because then I'll avoid the you dismissal. You wish a change of pace, my friend. Is the sparrow to leave the stage for a while? Uh, yes. Just wait here. If that is you wish, my raven, then let it be so. Herr Delis shall stand guard until you call upon him once again. Simple. Please. There we go. I'll bring me Hexit, the mysterious thief. <laughs> it's a very time-consuming process. Where is it you've brought me to now? But it is better to get it all knocked out in one go, so that I'll have to worry about it later. I'm my home away from home. You have a home? Well, no. But look at this place. Do you really think I want to call it home? Fair enough. Why have you summoned me? I have need of your talents. Or better yet, I'm about to embark on a great adventure. I'd have you join me. No surprises there. What would you have me do? Uh, wait here until I have need of you. I'm not accustomed to waiting on others. For you, I'll make an exception. If you wish. That sounded like she just leveled up. Come on. There we go. Bring me Jan, the gnome thief mage. Oh, is it that time already? You don't seem very surprised, Jan. Well, it's like my Uncle Spanky used to say, there's just no point in wetting your pants and screaming if you suddenly find yourself on another plane. Especially if you're dead. What kind of a start to the afterlife would that be? Better just look like you know what you're doing and impress the hell out of everyone. 
Of course, Uncle Spanky didn't often follow his own advice. He was once laughed off of Mount He was once laughed off of Mount Celestial by a pair of mischievous planetars, I hear. Bastards. Alright, good to see you too, Jan. I need your help. Time for a little adventure, is it? I figured as much. I saw some ogres down in Om capture a poor ball spawn. A kobold, that one. My, but that ball got around, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, they were stewing him in a big iron pot, and I thought to myself, Jan, my boy, that's adventure you're smelling. <laughs> well, that's horrible. Not as horrible as the stew. Very bland. No salt. That reminds me of that turnip beer cake you foisted on me at, at Ma Jansen's place. Well, that happens to be Aunt Petunia's special recipe, my dear man. Now thank you not to disparage it. I bet she could make something a mite tastier out of a ball spawn kobold too, given the chance. Now are we going or what? Uh, not just yet. Wait here a while. Always willing to wait around in a good pocket plane. Plenty of places to explore. Lots of loose pocket change. See you later. Send for turnips if you have the time. Alright, uh, bring me Keldor and the Inquisitor Paladin. Despite him not... He's supposed to be with his family. I don't know if this is going to affect his uh, epilogue. So it has come to this. I have heard the cries raised up against the ball spawn across the land, and I thought of you. I am pleased to see you unharmed. Have you a need then for an old paladin? Now, what does the Order have to say about me? The Order bids its members to be wary. It calls you dangerous, a threat to the stability of the land. And it is right, Donald. Whether you serve the good or evil, the Order is correct in this judgment. So will you help me then, or not? I am willing to stand by your side, yes. It's my hope that you will continue to battle against the dark forces which rage in your soul. You've done much that is worthy after all, and I can do no less than support you. Then wait here for now, and I'll deal I will deal with you later. You wish me to wait here? I would serve better, I think, either at your side or at home with my family. But if you feel this is best, I'll remain here for the moment. Can I send him back to his family? With Let's it. check. Is it time for us to go? Call it the vanity of no better, if you will, but I have the sense that great danger lies ahead for us yet. Actually, continue waiting here for a while yet. If you feel it must be so, take care then, my friend. Alright, so hopefully I didn't mess up his epilogue. I want to give him the happy ending that he deserves, not the, uh... The other one. I bring me Corgan, the Dwarven Fighter. We still have so many to go through. <laughs> it's gonna be like an hour-long episode. Dang and bloody blasty! I swear I'll be thrice damned the way you yank me about from one place to the bloody next air since we met! What does you want now? Uh, I need you to join the party, Corgan. Oh? Needs me axe, does he? Fair enough, as long as there's ample reward behind your silver tongue. He does a fair amount of killing anyway, as I recall. Enough to catch me fancy, if you know what I mean. Har har. Alright, just wait here a while and I'll deal with you later. He wants me to wait in this pulsating dung hole, does he? Aye, I'll do it. Leave me here too long and I'll start chopping me way out. I'm warning you. Did they give him equipment? He was naked last time I saw him. I took all of his stuff. I bring me Nalia, the Thief Mage. I see we meet again. I had foreseen that such an event would take place. I should have known that it would be soon, with the ball spot incidents increasing so rapidly. Nalia, you seem different. I'm not the frightened gore you remember meeting, or do you? I perceive that I have not been transported here so much as my history has been slightly altered, including my own experience of it. You're more powerful than I thought if you were able to do this. I suspect, however, that you are not yet fully in control of your abilities. What a terror you will be when you are. As for myself, yes, I am changed. In the short time since I knew you, I have become an Archmage with real power. It's those talents you need, is it not? I presume that is why I'm here. Ah, uh, good. I like you better like this. Uh, yeah, I'll just say this. Yes, I need the aid of a good mage. I'm a bit wary of involving myself in your struggle, Donald. To try and avoid it is to try and avoid is to fight fate, however. 
I suppose I can only hope that good comes of it in the end. Alright, wait here a while and I'll deal with you later. Hope you do not arrange for me to just I hope you do not arrange for me to be here just to leave me on this plane. Or something worse. I very well. I will wait. Like you had a choice. I bring me Nero, the half elven wild mage. Whoa! That wasn't a wild surge. It... Oh, it's you. It's been a while. Last I heard, you were still with the elves. <laughs> Thought you'd escape the whole ball spawn thing by planes hopping, huh? No? Uh oh. If I'm here, I suppose this means the time for rest and relaxation is over? Uh, perhaps. Who knows what the grim future holds? But yeah, I'm afraid rest and relaxation aren't looking likely. Oh, oh, I do. Fights, monsters, treasure, and walking. Seems reasonable, right? Okay, okay. I see you're very serious about this whole child of a god thing. I'll put on my serious face. It's pretty convincing. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're by my side again, Nero. But you're not coming with me. Because I don't like you. Are you sure you want me to go? I feel a helpful wild surge just around the corner. Well, that or an unhelpful one. I'll wait for me here. I'll return for you when I need you. Avery Rasad, the monk. It's so good to see a friendly face again. Though I can scarcely believe it. What is this place? Uh, it's been too long, Rasad. How have you been? Not well. As you know, after Alagoth was revealed as the man behind the Twofold Trust, I joined the Order, hoping to redeem it. Uh, do 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 do. Wait, what? Let's see. I'm going to lead its followers to Salune's Light. Uh, to pay Alargoth back for the lives lost at the Twofold Temple, I led an assault on a house of Shar. Unfortunately, the Sharans were prepared for the attack. Uh, the trust was all but wiped out. Shamed by my failure, I left the order to continue pursuing Alargoth. I heard he had been sighted in Tethir, and was seeking him there when you reached out to him. What would you have me do now? I remain here. I'll sh I shall attend to you soon. Man, we got the whole gang together, almost. Come on, activate the statue. Bring me Val- Yeah, Valigar the Stalker. Almost done. We're getting there. Well, quite a few things that I could have named off as being possible to happen before the end of the day. Meeting you again wouldn't have been one of them. Where are we? Well, it's good to see you again, regardless of the circumstances. I return your greeting with a little more- a little more heartily, if I didn't wonder what was in store for me, Donald. You need an adventuring companion? Yes, that's exactly it. Never been one to turn down an adventure, to be honest. And I suspect you just may need my help after all. I'll join you, Donald. I'll wait here a while then, and I'll deal with you later. Hurry up and wait, eh? I'm a patient man. I can I can wait a while, if that's what you want. That is what I want. Because you're not coming with me. I just need this place filled out, you know? You need it to feel like home. Alright, bring me Faconia, the Drow Cleric. And the, the two best for last. At last. I'm excited to bring Yushima back. So, the Abil calls and I come. Shall I play the part of a slavish dog? Is that what you think to make of me by this summoning? Uh, not at all. I need your help. My help? Ah, must be because the Drow are so renowned for their sense of nobility. <laughs> so be it, Donald. I'm willing to join with you again. For now. Uh, wait here a while, then. I'll deal with you later. You bring me only to wait about. No doubt that you play in treachery. So be it. It shall be met in kind, if that is what you aim for. I have a small army in our pocket plane. I was hoping I to knock out this challenge up here. Mind. I suppose, Jahira. What is it you want? Well, that is just it, isn't it? You've been so formal to me, so distant. Is there something wrong? I don't... I'm not... Well, actually, I've been a little nervous around you because of... Well... 
because of my association with the Harpers? I thought so. Thano has suffered at the hands of many groups because of his lineage, and now that you share it. I don't mean to be a stranger, but people will see me differently now. I just know. Let them see you however they wish. What can you, what can you do but just be yourself? I know these are only words, but you will be fine. I know. Thanks, though. All right, uh, Brammy Wilson, the Bear Paragon. <laughs> Best companion in the game. Roar, growl, roar, roar. Wilson, my oldest and furriest friend. It is so good to see you again. You seem well. Certainly in better state than when we first when first we met. Earth, snuffle snuff. Ah, uh, yes, of course. No, you will be waiting here, Wilson. I apologize. Hate to le hate to do it to you. Rock. Snort. I cannot argue with the philosophical point, but in practical terms, nothing has changed. Stay here. I'll return for you as soon as I can. Good old Wilson. If you wish. When I do my next playthrough, eventually, I will be bringing just the companions that I like the most, and Wilson is on that list, by the way. I'm Premier Yushimo, the bounty hunter. I cannot do as you ask, child of Ball. The one you seek is dead. And thus forever beyond my reach. His thread no longer connects with yours. I forgot about that. Never mind, I can't think of anyone else. As you wish. Continue on your course, child of ball. For some reason I thought you could resurrect Yushima. Oh well. Not a big deal. Alright, this is a good place to call it. Yeah, she is encumbered. I'll figure out what to do with that later. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. It's a good place to call it, because we're already over time, thanks to all the companions. But hey, look at this place. It's a party. Next episode, we'll deal with the first challenge, and then continue with our quest. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.